uh, is this light screen for you? Yeah. Okay, thank you for having us. Uh, I'm Eitaro Yamatsa, a CEO of Ubiton. Ubiton is developing a wearable device for communication with deaf blind people. Uh, imagine if you lost your hearing and sight accidentally. For people who are not being able to see and hear, the only way to know the outside world is slow contact touches. One deaf blind person said, it's lonely, as if he was isolated at the bottom of the ocean. If you lost both of them, what's happened? Your friends, your jobs, and your family. Please imagine. Uh, so uh, they have to work with an inter interpreter up to eight hours per day. When interpreters are unavailable, family members take over for them. So, Helen Keller is one of the most famous deaf blind person in the world. She was an author, political activist, and lecturer. She fought for the right of other deaf blind person, women's right for vote, and so on. One of the reasons of her achievement is her good teacher named Anne Sullivan. There are a lot of potential Helen Keller only uh, around the world, but there are not enough Anne Sullivan. So our system provides Ansariban with technology to every uh, deaf blind people. Uh, some of deaf blind people use finger braille system. Finger braille is the six point braille system in the le left, like, and that you all may know, and is replaced into six fingers. So our product, Ubitone, utilizes a method called this finger braille, braille and which conveys six dots of braille into six fingers. And specifically, our system consists of device to be wear on both hand and connect smartphone app connected to via Bluetooth. The user, the blind people, wear it on both their hand. The voice recognition of the app is transmitted to the finger and push notification from other app are converted into format called finger braille and transmitted to the hand of the blind people so uh, they can understand what the around and what's happened in around the around. We are planning to make a profit from device sales and app uh, subscriptions. Uh, now, some Braille device uh, cost up to uh, $12,000. So uh, it's very reasonable price, I think. Yeah, this is market size. Uh, each caregiver translator get uh, $60,000 per year in the United States and uh, 50,000 adults deaf blind in United States and 20,000 uh, deaf blind people in Japan and, and 3 million deaf blind people uh, can be estimated uh, in Europe. So it looks niche market, but there is some, uh, there is many, a lot of potential customers. Uh, we are currently working with a non-profit organization for deaf blind people in Japan and to develop and making some user tests with this system. And they comment that they love it and they want to buy it. And they can't share and see, but yeah, he can smile with this device like this. Our board member is uh, com uh, composed of myself, and CEO and CDO. I am experienced licensed guide helper and our functional team is able to uh, create this device uh, and uh, cooperate with a local NPO and approaching uh, NPOs around the world. Yeah, alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much, Helen Kera said. Every people can be connected. 
we are looking for um, engineering partners and impact investment and user to, users to test out our MVP in around the world. Uh, please help and join us to open up the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Juris, do you have questions? Etaro, thank you very much uh, for this great presentation. Um, I think this will make a really big impact uh, on the integration of uh, blind deaf people in society. I'm curious to know who your customers, stakeholders are. Are they the individual people? If yet, yes, how does it vary between old and young people? Can a very Can a child, for example, already use this? Would they be employers or the families of the deafblind people? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, now this is my uh, seed seed stage. So there is not a lot of customers actually, but well, one of the customer is like there is he is a husband, and he is uh, forty uh, over forty years old, and he has a family with two children and and at the with accident he lost uh, sight and yeah, hearing and his his wife uh, uh, studies uh, learned how to communicate with him uh, yeah he she, she learned uh, think of right but their children is little and still in uh in in the uh, junior junior uh, elementary school so uh, they uh so the family cannot uh, communicate yeah with what happened in their school or yeah what happens at that day so with this device yeah they the family the family communication can be uh easily made uh by vocally so yeah, this is an example of my of my customers. So you are using you're testing it with one customer at the moment. Ah uh, no, no more than uh, tw twelve. Uh, no no twenty. But uh, yeah yeah main main customer is uh, so. Continuously using customer is uh, five customers. Easy test is more than 20, but yeah, five customers continuously using this. And it's mm -hmm. only in Japan. So yeah, we are looking for the overseas customers now. Okay, any other questions? I have a question for you. Yes, a very short one. Yes. Uh, can you tell us maybe a little bit more about competition? Which other companies are, yeah, I know at least one company that's in the same sector, but what is the competition? Oh, really? And in particular, in also if you, if you look at your pricing model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. Uh, there is some competitor like this. Yeah, some yeah, com yeah, some companies are providing Braille device for blind people, and but uh, Braille is like static method that requires them to go to read it by themselves. So yeah, our machine is an uh, interactive system to uh, able enable to. Uh, real-time conversation. So, uh, uh, I haven't find found any such kind of uh, interactive real-time communication device for the blind people on cells. So, I think it is it my our device is first choice now if it's on cell. I think, but. Sorry, I, I don't know the competitor you imagine, so please share 
after this uh, quest Q&A session if you have any advice for me. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Ludovic, do you have a question as well? Question is, um, we, we had some trial to develop such technology, especially with one of your competitors in Europe, and uh, the go-to-market was difficult because uh, it's it's very hard to reach these communities of blind mm -hmm. and deaf people or mm -hmm. blind people. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, um, what what is your strategy to really get access to to this market and mm -hmm. uh, really develop uh, your technology? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so yeah. As you as you mentioned about, uh, it is difficult to uh, 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 it is difficult to uh, uh, go to individually. But there is uh, many uh, NPOs for the blind people in each area. Uh, in Japan, uh, there is uh, each uh, each area has each own the blind community. So. We first approach to a community, NPO community, and and I and introduce uh, them, introduce their mentors, uh, I mean instructors, and then uh, deliver to uh, individual. So yeah, they uh, touch and feel their device in their NP local NPOs, and then uh, distribute each individual user. This is my strategy. And yeah, I'm approaching their, uh, I'm emailing to each local NPOs now. Okay, thank you very much, it's time. So uh, yeah, Yamato-san, thank you very much.